I don't know. I think it's different strokes for different folks because I really do believe that everybody handles grief completely differently. Totally and whereas different. your sister might yeah. say, that's how I deal with it and I'm going to remember it for the rest of my life mm. and make sure I make a point of it. Somebody else might say, I don't want to know the day. Don't talk to me about it. I'm dealing with it that way. And I do think you have to allow people to grieve in their own individual personal way because what she might have found difficult Another daughter might have been like, this is, <clears throat> has helped me through my grief. For the last five years, I've had mm. flowers and it's been amazing. And without that, it's been I might like not have been like a little celebration of his life, her getting those flowers. Oh, absolutely. And I think our first reaction today when we first heard it, we all went, like the audience did there, we all went, oh, mm. it's lovely. But it was only her statement of saying, now I'm dreading it because it's finished, that I thought, I think there is this element of guilt it. connected with death. I mean, it's when someone close to you dies, you've always got this um, thing going on in your head. I wish I'd said this to them. Yes. I wish I'd said that. I wish I'd been there. And with my sister's death, I think, oh, I didn't want to be there at the very moment she died. And I don't want to actually remember the very month that she died. I just want to uh, think about the good things the good in things. our relationship mm -hmm. and not all the, all the rest of it. And I, you have to let it go. You just have to mm. let it go. Yeah. And remember that everyone does grieve completely yeah, differently, so whatever, however you get through it is okay.